Hey, what's up guys? All right, today we're going to talk about timing and that's why I have uh, conveniently titled it the most important guitar lesson ever. Um, and the reason is you can work on your chords, you can work on cool chord voicings, you can do your blues phrasing, you can get into playing real fast, whatever it is, you can get your technique down really well. But to be a successful guitar player, you wanna make sure that your timing is spot on. That's gonna make you very hireable if you wanna be a hired gun or just to kill it with your own project, all right? So let's get into some of these exercises. I'm gonna recall some on another video and then get into some uh, even cooler concepts. So the point of this exercise is I'm starting my metronome around 126 BPMs, and then I'm gradually walking it down. Now I'm gonna walk it down in, in bigger steps. I'm gonna go from like 126, maybe down to like 84, down into the 50s, and then try to hit, <clears throat> try to hit 40 um, as well as I can, all right? You're gonna see me struggle with this, guys. The slower it is, the harder it is. So that, that's it. I would recommend going down in smaller jumps just so you can get comfortable um, and it doesn't seem so daunting moving that quickly. Um, and you're gonna see me screw up because I'm moving that quickly. But first exercise, let me get my metronome here. So I'm on 126 and I'm just gonna do the quick notes and I'm just doing four down and four up. So I'm just doing this. And I could feel my ups aren't as tight as I want them. So I would normally walk back a little, a little slower. I'm gonna go back to 88 now. So, and up. I can even feel my muscles on the up are, are a little strained. So I can tell that those aren't built the, the way that I want them. I'll go down to 63. and so on and so forth. That's the first exercise, so give that a shot. Now, we're going to move into uh, something that's a little bit more difficult. Once you get that, what I wanna do is tackle the dynamics of that exercise, okay? So, so follow this along, the, a, a very um, obvious thing that happens in the studio to any guitar player, and, and drummers as well, and bass players as well, is as you're speeding up into a heavier part or like getting into that chorus, a lot of people uh, will speed, up and then as you go like a little bit softer, a lot of people will start slowing down. So this exercise I love. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna go 138. Now you're gonna do eight downs and eight ups, but you're gonna do it this way. And you can see my range of motion is even increasing as I get louder. So you're gonna get louder on that fourth and fifth hit and then back softer again. That's gonna make sure you can stay consistent. And you'll see, even if I'm doing this for light, I will kind of go into a full swing and even up. All right, so that works on that same deal. Let's move it back just a little bit. We'll go back to 88. All right, and just keep working your way back. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really challenge myself, which I know I'm gonna screw this up, but. This is 40. Aha. All right, so give that a try. If you can, if you can walk, walk each one of these exercises down to 40, guys, I definitely, that's so, that's so cool. That's really where you want that to be. So that's just getting that right hand down. All right, same deal, those exercises, you can do them all just kind of playing a note, whatever note it is. All right, playing a lick, however you guys wanna go through it, you know. Um, now, the, the next part, so, so making sure that you're, you're kind of hitting a, a whole bunch of different parts you're playing, if you guys wanna do. All right, see if there's any chords in there that are giving you, a giving you any trouble, like kind of draw out like a whole bunch of uh, open chords or whatever and some riffs, but it's really just to get your timing down. Now, let's move forward. The next exercise, 
we're going to do, uh, I'm gonna drop it down here to 100, all right? So we're gonna do quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, eighth notes, quarter notes. So you have this. All right, same deal now. And I'm not playing a note, you, can, you obviously can. If I drop this down to 80, I can do. On that one and just walking it all the way back. Let me see if I can do 40. Ah. So this is obviously one that I need to work on. And obviously I'm very ahead. So I can see where my weakness is there, and I definitely wanted to show you guys that. Um, so now, from there, we're gonna move into going into triplets. So we'll have, let's get back up to 100. We'll do, um, we'll do quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplet, back to eighth notes, okay? So it goes like this. That's gonna be challenging. Same exercise, just like we're doing. I did that on 100. Let's try it on 72. And we have quarters. Little ahead. And I'm noticing my up picks are a little less consistent, so that's something that I was gonna, I'm going to work on. Um, now, once you, if that's something that's pretty common, so let me just go into what I would do for that. 116, it'll just do. Right, just lower it down to 63. And just work on your up picks just to get those consistent. All right. Those are the main exercises, guys. So now, with those exercises that we were doing at the end, the, the, the two dimensions that you're doing is starting comfortable, I started around 126, and then just gradually getting slower and slower, and then with any one of those exercises, start ramping them up in intensity and back down again. So just to show you the last one that we did, um, if I go back to, to 100, because I didn't do the dynamic part of it, so we would do... Um, start with, with uh, I'm sorry, we're going to start with quarters, eighths, triplets, eighths, quarters, and I'm going to try to get louder. So we have... That's really, really cool difficult. for me because I can kind of see my weaknesses in that video, and I kind of wanted to, to, to do that. Um, I don't know. I always like seeing like a video where the guy is like not, you know, a hundred percent and has, has to do some of the, the leg work himself to get a little bit better. Um, I did have a recording session and it was, uh, it was for a reggae session and it was just a lot of that. And the producer that we were working with was like, Hey man, you're, you're not right on that hi-hat. You, you got to get a little tighter. And I sat and did these exercises. Um, probably about two or three months and then we had the same recording session and, and they definitely like lined up a little bit better. So I suggest working on this stuff guys, it's great. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, remember, s gradually slow the speed down and then do the same exercise by ramping up the volume and, and bringing it back down. Seeing where it is that your weakness is. If you're slowing down, getting softer, or if you're speeding up, getting louder. Um, and, uh, and you guys will kill it.